What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new reaction. This time, we got the new, we got the, we got the live stream for the PS5 reveal. Father, dude, as you guys can tell, this camera quality looks a lot better uh, because I'm actually using a Surface Pro Go. Uh, for this one, I got this one actually from my college. I use it for reading comics and also writing shit and my homework is a lot better than the laptop I have. I'm using this one instead because I don't trust that other laptop. It usually gives me problems like after a course for like an hour and I don't want to worry about like it like getting filled with a memory or whatever. So I did it with this one just to make sure we don't have any problems. So which hopefully we don't. And also, just look how clean it looks. I'm pretty sure this is 1080p. Maybe it isn't, but damn, it looked good. So yeah, finally, so yeah, now y'all can actually look at me, my face, my poster, my birds of prey poster that I put there solely to trigger people. You can now watch it all the all the floor. You can now clearly just see my Captain Marvel bandana that I wear to trigger people. Anyway, so let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. Let us begin. So, ladies. And Imagine right, we're watching this off of IGN stream because we, once again PlayStation is age restricted and I for reason I can't access it on my, like, my PS4 and all of this. first trying to come out on the 360 and PS3, man. Everybody was hot for GTA 5. Fucking Skyrim and Street Fighter 2 with the amount of ports it gets. With the amount of ports it's gonna get. And I got my PlayStation hat on, ladies and gentlemen. It was great to kick the day off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege that was about to say Final Fantasy. for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details with PlayStation 5. 
But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. Where we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 marks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talk. PlayStation Studios. I fucked with that. A hero is just someone who doesn't get. <gasps> ぜひ楽しみにしていてください。Right when I came up, I actually got a tweet from Yonko, a uh, tweet notification on because you know he's an anime, a news guy, and he said Spider Verse Miles. I'm like, okay, well, and then you know, just as there, I see Miles, and I'm like, all right, Gran Turismo Seven. Nah, I'm not really big on those. Played a couple of them, they're fine. Oh, hello there. A fox horse. Good, although it doesn't look that much better than the PS4, <laughs> at least from what I can see. But I'm not a tech, but I'm not a tech guy, so who knows? 
PlayStation Studios. I love that logo from PlayStation Studios. What the fuck is this, a bug's life? Time shit from like the PS3 games? What are we now going across dimensions? What is this? And of course they get separate. Was this a clank in time too? on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the dual sense controllers and amp feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look.
Can I get Infamous? Please, can I get a new Infamous game? Move square. Imagine they announce a remake of 10. <laughs> That'd be fucking hype. She will rise. Oh, hello. Hello, what is this? Project Athena. Exclusive work for PlayStation 5, so that's a PS5 exclusive. Finally! High speed, super steady, solid state drive! Ray tracing! I have no idea what the hell you're talking about! Oh! Heptic feedback! What the fuck even does that even mean? between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a machine that's really easy to develop on. 
PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. It will let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Robot Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. Show me the damn console!
Them people with Naruto running. What the hell is this? All stars. That looks fun. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Breer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share. Okay, the, I had to switch the stream. The IGN stream will somehow just, just, just froze up on me. Alright, got this new platform. Looks nice. I like the animation style. This looks like Mulan almost, kind of. Like, it has that... Like, it looks like a Disney movie, kind of, from like the 90s, you know? Looks fun! And you got a hot Asian chick as a lead. You got all that money. <laughs> it's meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. Take a look. 
for their new Odd World game. Odd World Inhabitants presents. Yep. I'm a sucker for these ticking, like, sound trailer songs, like the one used in, uh, uh, Dunkirk. I love shit like that. Fuck me, this is violent! God damn! Shit hardcore! Oh shit! Wait, isn't this the game that, um, once her name was working on, the girl that got that was like the most over person at E3 last year? I forget her name. Her name was legit slipping my mind. But I think, wasn't she working on this game, I think? Tokyo Japan. Damn, this was good. Hear threats, others don't. Fight when others won't. To you to save Tokyo. Ooh. Oh, damn, what is this? A dishonor? When am I gonna 
see the console. And can we get a new infamous game, please? Haunted by a Bolivian, propelled by dreams. Year zero. Hitman game. It was 
was always going to end like this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World Assassination Trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. Bye. skyscrapers to a whole new level. In the menu.
What's up everyone? I'm Zion Williams to the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Yo, we got that Cloak and Dagger soundtrack blasting! The last one out. Cloak and Dagger peeps! Yo, bro, look at them. Look at that sweat! Look at them suck at that sweat! And he took the rim down. Fall 2020 What is this a new X-Men game? very near and dear to me. It better be the console! PlayStation 2. Y'all motherfucker show me the console.
What in the blue hell is this? It's another game from Team Eco? Oh, is this Bloodborne? Dark Souls? Oh shit, Demon Souls! Damn! Blue Point. Damn, they're remaking Demon Souls, the first Souls game. Damn! Jesse is an Asian first person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision. What our king is all about. WHERE the IS THE CONSOLE?! A surreal player driven story smashed together. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out.
Was this a new Resident Evil? Or is this for the Silent Hills brought back from the dead? Yo, is this Resident 4? What is this game? Is that Umbrella? Twenty-two. 
PlayStation. So many directed Nintendo presents. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Wait. A thousand years ago. No. In great cities. No, 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 no. no. Grace. In the place came new life. Okay, I thought, this, I thought this was a new Uncharted game or a remake for, for a second there. Yes, it's Horizon Zero Dawn 2! That was my next choice! That was my next uh, I'm not saying it was either. That or Horizon Zero Dawn 2! Must find a way to stop Majestic world of Verizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Expecting this. 
God damn that sexy. Vertical. We hope you enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You see our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. There goes my phone. <laughs> all right. Sorry for all the cuts, by the way, guys. You know, uh, um, yeah, sorry about that. But, you know, the streams I was using would constantly just either freeze up or they would buffer or whatever. So I would have to switch back and forth. Thankfully, it didn't have to now, but uh, sorry about that, guys. Anyway. Anyway. Bruh. 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 
That was fucking awesome. Like, bruh. Like, bruh. First off, the, but that was not the best game for me was Miles. You know, I lost my shit. The only game that I kind of like equally lost my shit at was probably uh, the sequel for Horizon Zero Dawn. That was pretty cool. Um, the the console looks sexy as fuck. Like, bro, that's a straight up futuristic type shit. That looks nice. The games look great. Ratchet and Clank game looks awesome. The graphics are in, but that sweat though for that in for NBA 2K21. No release date, surprisingly. I mean, I guess we kind of got one, but not really. I don't know. But yeah, man, that was for the PS5. So yeah, tell me down below if you guys saw this review, reveal. I'm probably going to do a second video of my thoughts just like going a little bit more in depth my opinions on, on a few of the certain games. So I might do that later today. Not sure on that front, but you guys don't mean this react. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you didn't subscribe if you're new. Follow me Instagram, Twitter, flag in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time. You're a candy, you're a candy, you're a candy, you're a candy.